I'm saying I'm picky. Like, You're highly irritable. I've worked on myself to the point where now I think I'm the creme de la creme de la creme. Arrange, marriage me, ASAP. If a Spanish okay. person and an Italian person had a baby, is that baby mixed race? There's some places where they're like more dark, dark featured. Well, like dark and white. some areas where it's more... <laughs> like, are these people yeah. just white? <laughs> but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to throw it out to the listeners. Wagwan peeps, it's venom, what you saying? Alongside my home slice, dammy to the zane. When she and I get together on the body, ask anybody, the vibes are insane. Join our family and feel free to come by. Be on Apple Podcast and Spotify. Yeah. Me drop on the way every Monday at six. Tune in and come see what we unpick. <laughs> hey, hello. Yeah. Hi, peeps. I go by the name of Dami Zane in the building. And I'm here with my co-host, none other than. Hey, hello, hi, peeps. It's Dummy Zane in the building. <laughs> and I'm here alongside my co-host, Venom. Should I playing along, boy? Because I, I is not a man. And I is not a lady. And there could only be one, there could be only one Dummy Zane, okay? Okay, okay. The one and only. Okay. Okay? One and only. Okay. In the building. How are you doing? In the building. I'm all right, you know. How are you? I'm so so. I'm just a little bit just tired. Just so so. Yeah, man. I'm struggling to find the motivation to go gym. I'm not gonna lie. I've got a I've got a good diary oh, yeah, and a workout it. plan, but like the working out is not happening. Only the plan is happening. So, I yeah. hear it because I've also I didn't fall off. I still been going every week, mm. but. In Jan, I was going five times a week. I'm not going five times a week. Yeah, I wanted to be at three. I thought I, I set myself a low bar of three times a week, and and it's not happening. I've I've gone every week, but mm. yeah, mm. again, like you say, I'm not I'm not hitting the target, and my target is actually kind of low. It's a modest. It's like okay. just to get through. Yeah, three times is a modest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got a question for you, Venom. Go for it. Yeah, ma'am. Is there a food? That when you were young, yeah, you didn't like it, and it, and now you do. Olives, olives, absolutely disgusting to me as a child, as a teenager, yeah. even as a young adult. Mm. I'd say up until like maybe about even up to twenty five. I was like, this is disgusting. Like, who eats this? Why do you eat this? I'm still there, by the way. Hit 27, and the whole world just changed. I said, yo, what the hell? I've been missing out of years of this Nando's olives. Olives are peng. They're absolutely peng. When's the last time you tried olives? Never. Never, ever? Never, and I'm never going to try it. Why are you never going to try it? The smell. It's not that. It's not that. It's, it's, it smells so bad. Have you it never have you never so been bad. in a house and someone's cooking and you know they're throwing down, but for a moment it doesn't smell too good? If it don't smell good from the beginning, I'm not eating it. I don't care if they're throwing down. Uh... Because I'm a I'm an onion, saute the onions and garlic baby. Mm. And that never smells bad. If you start with that, it's always gonna slap, right? <laughs> so I've never eaten as hard and it's any even African food, if it's yeah. not smelling off, I'm like, yeah, no. No, nah, not when you're not when it's done. I can't I can't eat stockfish. Oh really? Shaki. You know when the shaki, shaki bangs, comes man. Fresh, yeah, yeah, you gotta wash it, it though. Stinks. You gotta when wash it. Out, yeah. The smell puts me off. So when I go to the butchers, there's a I gotta get the shaki that's already been cleaned somewhat. Oh, mad. So that the smell's not as bad. But if it's like fresh out and it's still brown or whatever that colour is yeah, and you've got yeah, to yeah. Cl- scrape that off. And I know how to scrape it off, but the smell alone, I'm like, no, I can't do it. Mm. The sm- smell for me matters. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you how much I hate olives, yeah? I remember back in the day, I went on a date with this guy. You know when we used to go to Nando's for like a first date or something? I'm yeah. talking early 20s. That's how long time I mean, if I was single, I'd still be doing that right now. I'm not going to lie. But yeah. I, I, would, I, would, I would still go Nando's on a date, but it's more like, oh, we're actually together together now. We're just doing a quick Sunday afternoon. Let's just go for a quick cheeky Nando's. But I don't know about first date Nando's. I don't know about that. I don't know we'll come that, back to that. Digress. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Yeah. When we were young, when I was young, I was a lot, I was a lot, a lot younger. And Nando's was like 
gourmet chicken. So to mm. me, I was like, whoa, let's go to Nando's. You know what I mean? It wasn't cheeky. It was, we're not on that salary because we're very young. And this guy was like, oh, I love olives. And I said, listen, if you eat olive, if you eat olives on this day, I'm not going to kiss you. He thought it was a joke. He thought I was playing. Mad. He didn't know that Dami Zane is about it. And back then I wasn't even Dami Zane, if you get what I mean. Mm-hmm. Stage name and that. He ordered the olives to antagonize me because he thought I was playing around. Mm. Okay. We went through the date. He ate his olives. My nose was irritated, but we had the, we had a great time. Gets to the end of the date. I offered him a chewing gum. He said, no. I said, okay. He said, can I have a kiss? I said, absolutely not. <laughs> Because I told you, if you eat them olives, Man. I'm going to smell it on your breath. If I smell it on your breath, I can't kiss you. Mm-mm. I feel the same way about going on dates and men ordering fish. Any fish? Yeah, fish. Because there's certain foods that leave a pungent aftertaste Mm-hmm. In your in your mouth, do you get it? And mm. so now, if we're lips in, we're exchanging saliva, do you get it? Mm. I'm gonna taste your meal. That's actually an it for me. So when I when I see what you what you're eating, and I'm like, mm, you're gonna want to kiss me, and I know what you've eaten, mm. and I know it's gonna be stuck at the back of your throat. And when we kiss, I'm gonna taste it. I rather just preserve how I see you, and not and we don't lips. I hear it. I hear it. Because remember I told you before, smells, yeah. like for me, bad breath and all that. Mm, 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 mm. And I'm the same. When I go on a date, I, I watch what I order because I'm like, I know that this is a smelly dish mm. and you got to keep it cute at all times. So I can't be eating this and expect lips in afterwards. Yeah, Not in the I, beginning stages. I had, when we're I like, had, babe, no, like I had, no, I had a, I was, we were, we were, we were locked in. Me and my girlfriend at the time, I'll never forget this, man, because this was a, this was such a, an L, and it's not even her fault, because we was both, like, involved. Mm. We were sitting down at the kitchen table, watching videos on a laptop. I, I don't think it was YouTube, but it was that kind of vibe. Um, mm. And then my mum came around with the garlic bread, and I think I mm. had, like, a little piece, but more of the dinner, and she just boxed off the garlic bread. When I kissed this girl goodbye, man, that kiss was disgusting. It was so bad. And she's so pretty. It was just, it messed me up so bad. But it didn't make me think like, Mm. I can't date this girl again. Like we were all good. I was just like, oh my God, I'm definitely not doing that again now. Yeah. And you know what? You're a better person than me because I'm starting to realize, and this is called self-growth, guys. And I'm very proud of myself. I'm extremely picky, Venom. Mm Mm-hmm. Any little thing, and I'm like, I'm out. Anything can put me off. I think that's picky. I think that's non-committal. No, I can commit to somebody. Thank you very much. Nah, that's sounding non-committal. Nah, you know I can you, commit to the someone. The thing is, you, you have a list. Don't try it. You have a list, yeah? I, have, I actually don't have a list. I don't have a list. No, I just as know in, what not I an like. official list, but I mean, like, every once in a while, you will divulge to us here that unpit family something else that's like a little bit like nah i can't really do that you know and i swear down if you just tally up all the things that you've kind of listed out or said across the the course of this discourse there's a list that you need to be aware of that is a challenge for the listeners because if you ain't listened from episode one you're gonna struggle to tally exactly this list. but as i as i mature the list is getting longer that's what i mean and it's getting ridiculous. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm feel... saying it's more non-committal than it is. Um, uh, how did you describe it? You just say you're picky. I think I'm saying I'm picky, and 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 the thing is, right? Um, it's not picky in the sense it's like, oh, if he doesn't hit my list because I've I've gone on dates with men that don't match my type. Mm. So it's not that. I'm, I'm not like, oh, it's not my type. Can't date you at all, right? But that being said, mm. the moment I start to realise there's something that I don't quite like, I can't quite overcome it. Mm. And I'm very much like, nah, this is not going to work. And 
I'm, I know that of myself and I've noticed it because obviously your girl, she's been on a few dates with like a few people recently. I don't know, it comes with more visibility. When you get more visibility, you just get more attention and that's been mm-hmm. happening. Um, 2024 has been very interesting in that sense. And I've met a lot of like potential people that I could date, right? And gone on dates. And little things, I'll be like, that's a bugbear now. And it becomes a problem. And I'm like, actually, I don't see that for me. I can't do it. And before, it wouldn't have been a, an issue. But I think it's because I've been so, uh, because I've been single for so long, now I'm searching for something that doesn't exist. Mm. And I know that. And that's why I said it's being picky. It's not non-committal. Because if I met anything remotely close to it, I will commit quickly. But because I know, I, I've been able to identify that it actually doesn't exist. I'm like, no, dummy. You want to commit, but what you are looking to commit to doesn't exist. Relax. Take a chill pill. Is this actually a red flag or... You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, And I'm trying to recondition myself that, for example, skinny jeans is not the the thing to be like, I can't date this guy (sighs) because he wears skinny jeans. Skinny jeans that he could decide to stop wearing. I mean, not that I expect him to. But it's just that is skinny jeans really what determines skinny, the character skinny of jeans a man? Is really not a um, not a defining. Yeah, it, it, I think. I mean, on like the day, I can, I'll be, I can I'll be understand fashion the whole day, and it will, it will annoy me. No, I can understand it's fashion not enough being for me a to problem be like... because I could imagine <sighs> th- there's there's certain like fashion choices a girl could make that would possibly annoy me, but I think they're ones that more speak to character. Rather than, yeah. oh, I don't really just like th- that kind of dress style. Mm. Mm-hmm. It could, yeah, I mean, if it doesn't look good or I think it doesn't look good, yeah, that would annoy me. But I don't think I would write someone off. I think I'd just try and try and like show them better drip. You can't change a man. No, no, I, no, I, I just show, I just show them it. better drip. Change a man. I just show them better drip. I'd be like, yeah. And like, you know, when the birthday comes up or the Christmas comes up, I might buy them a little number that I'm like... Nah, I think you look nice in this though. You know what I mean? And then you start complimenting them more in that thing. Yeah, you get me. And then all of a sudden, because they want to wear it more. Yeah, no, no, no. Like I am, listen, the fact that like me dating more recently has really made, opened my eyes to the fact that I'm too picky and things that shouldn't be a problem, I mag magnify it Mm. and make it bigger than what it is. And then I'm like, nah, I can't date that. I can't date that. I can't. And it's not fair because I'm not perfect. It's not fair on yourself. It's not fair on me because there could be, I mean, I don't think so. The ones that have gone are gone. I don't think so. But it's it's like, because not to divulge too much information about me, but there was like one guy recently, not too recently, but quite recently. And I was just like, mm, and I was picking things about him. My friends were like, I mean, you do this all the time. Mm. You'll meet someone that actually is a cool guy. And you'll be like, he's cool. We get on really well. There was actually nothing wrong with the date. He's cool. But... This, 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 this kind of irritates me. I don't know. I don't know. And they're like, ah, oh, listen, you're too picky. Chill. Mm. So I'm I'm trying to not be so picky. Like, turn a blind eye to things and be like, you know what? I just don't know who you're being picky for, man. Like, I definitely was picky when I was younger. And I was being picky for my brethren. I was trying to make sure that this girl that I got, that I then, like, walked around whatever the ends or the the youth center or whatever it was, everyone else was like, it's that shit, yeah, oh. I don't give it a I don't give it a Once I had all of that me. validation about, yep, I can get the girl, all of that pickiness went out the window. Bam, it's gone. All I cared about was like, okay, cool. Is she this? Is she that? Is she that? The rest, I'm going to work with. But like, these are my fundamentals and then the rest, we'll just have to iron out or not and just do up, you know what I mean? Because it's a journey. For me, it's because I've worked on myself in terms of my self-esteem and how I see myself to Mm -hmm. the point where now you could say I have a very big head. It's very surprising how my head fits into the screen of this podcast, (laughs) to be very honest with you. And because I see myself so highly and I love myself so much, I'm like, anything that's going to make me feel uncomfortable or irritate me, it's not worth it. That's where I'm at. But I I think that's what it is. And you're, that's the problem. You're highly irritable. That's what it is. As in things no, irritate you easily. Yeah, that by description, that's what you've no. even said. Yeah. 
I'm not highly irritable. You are. Not everything irritates me like that. It's I, I I think I've described it perfectly. I'm very picky. The littlest of things, mm. I'm like I can't I can't work with that. That's beneath not beneath me, but like no, I'm better than that. I can't no, mm. and that's a problem. So I've worked on myself to the point where now I think I'm the creme de la creme de la creme, like the creme de la creme of the creme de la creme. Mm. That's not the case. Like so, I mean, so you, you can to, date someone that wears skinny jeans. Like it's not that experience. deep. You don't always make the best fashion choices. Do you know? Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be that way. And the fact that he wears skinny jeans doesn't mean that he's a bad guy. It's That's not cool. about the jeans. It's about. Do you know what I mean? It's about it's the jeans. Stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's about the DNA. And the funny thing is, if I'm advising my friends, that's what I'll be telling them. But like, sis, I don't get it because mm. he's in a. Do I take my own advice? No. <laughs> Yeah. I'm learning. I'm trying very yeah. hard it's a, to, it's a to ego change death. my ways. I think, I think you need to go for an ego death because I think that it's it's affecting the choices you're making. Hundred percent. And yeah, hundred percent. I could be very honest about that. Hundred percent. That's why I said I'm too picky. I need to take a chill pill. Like mm. I need to be like, relax. That doesn't even matter. That doesn't matter. You can't say that the guy treats you well. Like have all these great things to say about the guy, and then it's it's. Because he ate olives, you're like, yeah, that's he right. ate olives and wore skinny Cause... jeans. Too much. No, but that's two things. Yeah, I know, but. I'm, imagine just one. I'm like, yeah, no, I don't feel like, I don't know if I can like him because it's ridiculous. I, like, I, need to, I need to come down from the clouds. And I know that. So that's why I said it's like a big growth thing for me to be like, uh, I've actually realized the problem because mm. it's not every guy you're finding something. What are you looking for? What's the problem? I mean, if you look, you'll find Relax. it for sure, man. Exactly. Nobody is perfect. So I spoke, I spoke to my dad about it. He was like, listen, Dami, there's actually no man on this planet that's perfect. Even me, your dad, I'm not perfect. Just accept that. And he goes, I kind of take responsibility because we've we've they've raised us. My parents have raised us to expect the best. Yeah, yeah. And they if it's not the best, we're not gonna have we're not mm-hmm. we're not having it. So they've raised us to have high standards. And my dad's like, it's biting me in the ass now, because every guy, because my dad tried to set me up with someone. Oh my god, this is a funny story. He tried to set me up with this guy. Mm-hmm. I told him to. I was like, Dad, you know what? I'm sick and tired of these streets. I'm tired of trying to do this on my own. Arrange, marriage me ASAP. I'm done. Yeah? Just arrange, marriage me. He was laughing. He was like, I can't do that with you, Daddy, because I know my daughter. I was like, no, do it, do it. Let's do it for bands. See if you can find me somebody. He went to Nigeria. He came back. Mm -hmm. And I think this was like around Christmas time last year. He was like, oh, so, Daddy, basically, there's this guy that saw your picture um, through... My mum's younger youngest brother, he saw my picture, like they're friends, innit? And he saw mm-hmm. my my picture and was like, who's that? And then my uncle was like, that's my niece. Um, and he was like, oh, really to settle down. She seems like she's such a pretty, she's a beautiful woman. Since she's your family, like I feel like you can vouch. My cousin was like, my not my cousin. It's weird because we're like the same age. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so my uncle was like, um, and I call him uncle out of respect. Anyway, but anyway, my uncle was like, no, Dami's top girl, right? So he told my dad, my uncle told my dad. So my dad was like, you know what? Dami said to me that she gives me full reign to find a guy for her. This is my opportunity. So when he came back to the UK, he was like, Dami, there's this guy. I said, I need to see what he looks like because if he's not attractive to me, I can't even. My dad was like, ah, oh, she started. She's already mm-hmm, begun and she mm-hmm. hasn't even. But I was like, he's a cool guy, like... I'll tell your uncle to call you. My uncle calls me. He's like, nah, he's my friend. I wouldn't even let my friend move to my niece if I didn't think. And bear in mind, me and my uncle, here's my uncle. I should have used like quote marks. We're the same age, mm-hmm, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, it's my granddad's youngest son. So yeah, so it's not like some old uncle type thing. So he's like, I can vouch for this guy, you know. Like, I would never, ever bring him, a, bring a guy around any of the girls in my family if I didn't think he was mm-hmm, cool. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. this guy is cool. I said, okay, send me the picture. He sent me one picture. Mm-hmm. I looked at the swag. I looked at the face. Mm-hmm. I said, Dad, I can't do it. But I was like, wait, hold on. We said he's a cool guy. This guy said he's ready to settle down. He's seen mm-hmm, your picture. Mm-hmm, he likes what he mm-hmm. sees. We vouched for you. He, we're able to vouch for him. That means both of you have done the CRB check. It should be cool. You should be able to just like, just go on a date with him. You don't even know. Just go on a date. Mm -hmm. I said, Dad, you want grandkids, right? It's not happening. 
So this week just gone, we were at the I was at the house and um because Ramadan went yeah, yeah. was last week. Well, by the time this episode comes out, Ramadan would have been last week. And um those of you that have been listening for a long time and Venom knows as well, my parents are actually Muslim, my whole family's Muslim but me. So anyway, I go home for Eid all the time because it's a fa- it's a family affair and out of respect for my parents. So my brother's sister was there. I was there. My mom's brother was there. His friend was there. Dad was there. Obviously, like there was a lot. The house was full, and we started talking about relationships. And I'm there talk, admitting that I'm picky as hell. And then my uncle was like, "Then let your dad choose." And then my dad said, "Never again," because when I found her a guy, she's the same one that was like, "No," because I said when he was like, "Oh." Why don't you get your dad to pick someone? I said, I told him to. He's not found me a husband. Then my dad mm-hmm. said, is it? I haven't found your husband. Mm-hmm. When I introduced you, did you go? I said, okay, sorry. You're right. So my uncle was like, listen, Dami, when you see something, give it six weeks before you lock it off. He goes, because you're so picky. Give it six weeks before you lock it off. If after six weeks of dating this person, like going and seeing them, da, 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 it's still irritating you to the point where you can't take it, then walk away. But if after a while, the six weeks, you've gone to know him and you're able to overlook it, then like you've got no reason to not. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So that's that's um, that's the advice I'm taking right now, which is just close your eyes for six weeks. Yeah, man. You need to close your eyes and open your heart to the connection. And this is why I asked about food, because I used to hate cheese right. when I was little. So much so that I remember for my best friend's 10th birthday, we went to Pizza Hut. You know, when you're kids and you go to a Pizza Hut, like you go to like Pizza Hut, McDonald's, da, da, da. Mm. I ordered a pizza and I told them to hold the cheese. Mm. Not from Pizza Hut though. Like an Italian, that kind of yeah. makes sense from Pizza Hut. Wow. Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut. She took everyone's order, got to me. And I was like, um, can I have a pepperoni pizza, please? And then, because I thought I was, I was 10 years old. I thought I was cool. This is me. But hold the cheese. The whole table went. Mm. Dami, what did you say? Confidently, I said, hold the cheese. <laughs> the whole table started laughing. They said, that's not pizza. That's bread of that's bread, that's bread, bread and meat. meat. <laughs> bread and meat and tomato sauce. <laughs> they were like, that's bread and pepperoni. Like, mm. so um, I gave cheese a chance and I love cheese. So, so what cheese is this? What? Because cheese is a cheese is a broad spectrum. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I don't like smelly cheese. So I stick to things like Parmesan, uh, obviously cheddar, red. Leicester. Leicester. Uh, I love, 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 love um, mozzarella. The, the, you know them safe cheese? Them yeah, those are, the, those are the easy cheeses. cheeses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The safe, you see them blue cheese mm-hmm. or that? No, never. It will never happen. Yeah, never. Cheese, cheese goes deep. Just like I will never eat olives. You should never. try olives, man. Try olives. Ain't gonna happen. Anyway. Nice. Nice journey in. I don't have a song of the week. Do you? Oh, yeah. Yes. I wrote it down. Um, Her name was Santo Gold. It's now Santi Gold. And it was the first song I ever heard of hers. It's called You'll Find A Way. And it was... um, Oh. It's a proper weird song. She's like an alt... I don't even know what to call her as an artist, but she's like an alt... Alt pop... (laughs) artist and um yeah it's just good memories the song is mad though <laughs> it's gonna okay you get to it in the playlist especially if it's on shuffle you're gonna be like because it's different but um yeah okay is it a spanner it's basically a spanner a little bit yeah mm, okay a little bit i was gonna put a song from beyonce's oh, uh, album but... sorry sorry but then I thought I'm being disingenuous because I've not actually listened to it because I refused to. So I said no. I would never I listen I'd just to do that. It just, I just thought I just did it for the entertainment. Do you know what I mean? Did it for the did it for the drama. I can't do even. I downloaded one of the songs to play as. <sighs> I just said to myself, "Man, is this me? Is this my life? Am I actually gonna spin this?" She track? said it's not a country album; it's a Beyonce album. So 
Listen, she can say um, whatever she likes. I ain't about to listen to that album, boy. Ain't no way. What have you seen? This I have week, not seen Venom? nothing this week. Diddly squat. Uh, diddly squizzle. Not That's not true because I sent you stuff. You know what? I never count the stuff that you send me though, because I say that's yours. So, all right. I see. Um, to be so, fair, I don't send it to you for the podcast. I send it to you to laugh about it okay. more time when I send you stuff. Yeah, um, so I don't count those personally. But I'm like, oh, Dami might bring this up. Dami might bring that up. Okay, cool. So, City Girls. Mm-hmm. I've heard about City Girls. I've, I've heard about their about beef, City, yeah. JT and. Yeah, apparently they're, they're beefing. I can't bother to go through the ins and outs of the beef. You can find out. It's going to be related to Diddy. Diddy's going to be in there somewhere. I've, I, well, some of it is to do with like um, one of the girls thinking that the other girl was throwing shade at her in a song and stuff like that. You know, the typical like hip hop beef type yeah. situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, but Diddy kind of is, has been thrown in there, obviously. Yeah, why, would you, why wouldn't you bring up Diddy? A hundred percent. So word on the street, city girls are... The city girl, the city's up. ended. The city has broken down into zones. Yeah, it, it appears that there's no more city girls. Uh, yeah. The city girls was the city <laughs> girls was always going to lose from the beginning, from its inception. From when they were up... It Why'd you gave, say that? Because when they were doing city girls up, that meant that city girls can be down. You was right. They didn't need to fight. Someone anybody. said that Diddy keeps. Someone said that Diddy keeps breaking up, breaking up, breaking up groups, and I actually chuckled because Mad. it's actually not a lie. He ain't gonna catch a break, boy. He ain't catching no. Breaks. Never, never, ever. Not for a very long time. Nah, not at all. Also, I also I saw this whole statistic about. Mixed, mixed race people being the most attractive people and they used Kim Kardashian and Zayn Malik as an example and um, and I swear neither of them are mixed uproar. race I swear neither of them are mixed race and it's race. so funny because it's so funny because someone made a comment in, in in the post that I saw and they were like why is it black people only assume that mixed race is black and white or mm. black and something else mm-hmm. you can be Asian and white and you're mixed race yeah, of you course. can be you can be Eastern European and white and as in like British or American white and your mixed heritage, your mixed race. I mean, Eastern European is is like a, that's a stretch, no? Isn't Russia like you Eastern know? Europe? Yeah, but then so are places like, um, hmm, like oh, there's some places where they're like more dark, Dark features, well, like dark white. Some areas where it's more. <laughs> like, are these people yeah. just white? <laughs> There's this dark so, white. So are you trying to tell me? So white, if, an, if, an, if, an, if an Italian, yeah. if an Italian yeah. and a British person get together and have a baby, is that baby not mixed race? Yeah. So when people do this, I'm like, yeah, but those Spanish, people are white. Or yeah, Spanish, Spanish and white. is white as well. It's like if a Spanish person and an Italian person had a baby, is that baby mixed race? Yeah, because one is Spanish, one is. Are you calling race literally black, white, Asian? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, basically. It's brown people. It's like brown people. Because if that's not the case, then basically anybody who's from two different countries in Africa is mixed race. But no one would say that. No, no, no. I would say I would say I'm mixed race because I'm Nigerian and Trinidadian, which is literally actually there's other you're races mi- mixed, mixed in there, but I'm still mixed black. F- you're mixed ethnicity. Right. Not race. Because I don't actually deem Italian, Spanish, Turkish. I don't consider them as white people. Right. They but, might consider themselves as white, but I don't. I I think they're spicy. Yeah, you know but I mean? like spicy white is like olive tone. Yeah, spicy white they're is not just white. A, it's just like they're something that we say white. on they're the streets. White. That's how we say on the streets no, to not differentiate. White. But they're they're white people. They're just a different kind of white, but they're white people. I'm not. Guys. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that a Turkish person and a and a Spanish person are the same. But what I'm saying is those people are all white. I I haven't got access to the dictionary at the moment. I, I got the internet. Tell me what but, you want me to Google. Uh, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
I'm going to throw it out to the listeners. Mm -hmm. I want to know, what do you consider, if you were to list the races in the world, what would you list them to be? That's the question. Do you think it's just literally black, white, Brown. And Asian, as in brown. And then yellow. Asian, Asian is brown. Yeah, but then also What's yellow? the yellow Asian. So East East Asian. So why why is it okay for you? Why is it okay? For, they're all Asian, no? Just like all of us are African and no, Caribbean. No, but, but they look completely different. If you're gonna split, if you're gonna split the Asians between North and and East. Yeah, but you're just talking about a continent. I'm just I'm just explaining because you're saying Asian. I'm saying that yeah, but there's two different kinds of Asian. Then there's two different types of white. Yeah, but then there's also which is what I'm saying. Which is what I'm saying. Which is what I'm saying. So what's the different kinds of white? So if you so if you so if you if you mix so if you've got someone from Pakistan, yeah. which is like or right, brown, mm, yeah. which is what you're calling brown, yeah, yeah. and got someone from Korea and they yeah. mix, is that not mixed race? Is that mixed race? Yeah. To yeah, you? Yeah. So why is it different for someone that is Spanish with a British person? Because I see someone from Pakistan and someone from Korea as being very different. I mean, if you Google someone from Pakistan... For the same reason, for the same reason... I don't think it's I spicy. Think, I don't think it's a spicy difference. I'm not talking about spicy. I, I, use, I, use, I, use spi I use spicy to basically say that they've got more tone to their skin. Yeah, no, no, I know. I know. If, you put a, if you put a Spanish person, yeah. or you put a Turkish person, or you put a Armenian person, mm -hmm. or you put any, like, those, like, mediterranean -y, European countries mm -hmm. next to an actual white person from Britain, mm -hmm. Ireland, mm -hmm. Scotland, mm -hmm. wherever, their, their skin tone's not the same. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's a separate, it's separate. They're not the same white. So it's a different race. Similar to how you're trying to separate Asian. No, nah, not Asian really. race. Not really. To me, innit? Yeah. To me, innit? Because the thing is, if That's you took what the, I'm you took, like maybe it's the person the from England or Ireland or Scotland or wherever, as in this British, or sorry, the UK of type of white person, and then you put them mm -hmm. in the climate of the Spanish person, then after time they would resemble a similar complexion. But if you took someone from Pakistan or some and someone from Korea and you put them in the same climate, they wouldn't become similar. That doesn't, that doesn't matter because if you put me in the hottest place, I'm going to come out looking like those um, Africans that are very dark. It does, it, it, everyone, everyone browns in the heat. Even the no, no, but that's what I'm saying, saying is, are from is Korea, just, yeah. even if the, there's people that say they're still going to brown. They're yeah, they're brown, tan, but they still won't look anything dark. like the people from Pakistan is my point. Is where if, I don't think I don't think someone from Ireland... Mm -hmm. That, like people from like Ireland and Scotland where their skin are no, known to be pale mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they don't tan they go they go pink they are not going to look like someone from Italy that has olive skin tone so okay. um, I stand by my point but guys please let us know it's interesting that you can you can separate mm -hmm. different tones within Asian community but you can't separate it within what you're, cons you're you've just branded all of them as white people and that's not that, I don't think that's fair that's not right so they're, they're not, not the all race. white people they're not all white a Turkish person is not white so what are they and uh, do you know what's funny I had friends growing up that came from these places mm -hmm. and they experienced racism from white people of course of they course. don't see themselves as the same they're not the same white mm -hmm. But I'm that now saying, what are they? So, so how, how how are you how are you exp how are you exp how are you experiencing racism for people that are supposed to be the same race as you? Yeah, but white people experience racism from white people. Gingers experience racism from white people. That's not racism. Scots, That's not Irish. racism. That's not racism. That's discrimination or prejudice. Not racism because we're the same race. A black person can't be racist to their own person, and a white person can't be racist to a white person because it's not racism. Then. I'm not discriminating against you because you're, I think that my race is more superior to yours. By definition, I'm just discriminating against you or being prejudiced against you, which is different. And I feel like people use the word racism and prejudice or discrimination mm -hmm. interchangeably. It doesn't mean the same thing. Okay. But then in, in, so, in the same light, so, they so, might say that they were so, being, uh, people, white people were being racist to them and really they were being prejudiced. Yeah, because within the white community, for example, there's a hierarchy when it comes to hair. If you're going to talk about gingers versus everybody else, the blondes are meant to be up here, then it's the brunettes, mm -hmm. then it's the gingers. And they've always been that way. Mm -hmm. 
So so if if you're finding people that have blonde hair, blue eyes, discriminating against someone that's probably from Ireland if they're ginger, that's normally the ideology. Um, could be wrong, but that's normally the ideology. That's normally where they're from originally, or is it Scotland? No, Scotland, I think. It's either Scotland or Ireland that originally were you, known lie. as ginger people. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. I'm probably interchanging them incorrectly, but I can I can be corrected. But I know it's one of them. Yes, they think that the blonde and blue eyed was seen as like the epitome of beauty within the white community. So if you didn't look like that, they would discriminate against you because you're mm-hmm. seen as not as good at, as good. Just like within our community, we've got colorism. You've got girls with four C hair and girls with like three A hair, but we're all black. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You've just got the cool. You've just got coolie hair, right? What we used to call coolie hair. So dark skinned girls, that's colorism. That's not racism. It's different. So I, I, I still like in the UK, when we have Brexit, do you know how many people from the Euro- other European countries that have more olive skin felt like they were being racially discriminated against by the British, by white people? Because they're not the same. They're not white together. And this brings me back it, to the point. I mean, they're not treated the same for sure, but. They're not white together. They're not part of the same race. They're part of the same European collective continent, but they're not white altogether the same. There are, I do think there's a separation there. You've got the olive skinned, more tan skinned people. And then you've got actual white people. They're not the same. I don't know. That's from, what I think. From my, from my, but from my understanding, from my understanding, white there. people come from the Caucasus there. Mountains and the Caucasus Mountains are in the middle Look of Europe. Look at you reading Google. Look at you signing. I had to, you I had to, do ju- that I had to double check. I had to double check exactly you where they check were. It. You, you can, and I'm like, yeah, yeah it's smack bang in the middle of Europe. And that's where Caucasus yeah. comes from. It's from the Caucasus Mountains, which is right next to Turkey and Syria, south east of Ukraine. And it's smack bang in the middle of what? So where do Arabs, where do Arabs and Egyptian people sit? Where do they sit? In the race for you. I think where that do they they're sit? their own what race. What race are they? I think they are their own race. But but a Spanish and Italian and Armenian and all that, they they can't be separate from white people. I mean, you can separate their them from white. The you, same. you can they're, separate they're them from white people. The same. But what I'm saying is, they are all the same. A Spanish person, an Italian person, and an Armenian person, to me, is interchangeable. Or are they all different yeah, races? Yeah, they're one race. But to me, they're mm. separate from white race. They're not the same as like a white American, British American, um, British white, um, American white, um, Australian white. It's not the same. They're, they're one. They're white people. So where? So what's Australian white? The others what? are different. Are they the same no, as the Armenian? No, because you know that like when you go to Australia, you mm. get people that are white. They live in Australia where it's, the heat oh, is heating. Oh, I've never been to Australia. I've never been. They're white. Yeah, it's different. I feel. I, I do think that you've got. I think that we we we've put every like we've made it so that it's like if you're not black or brown or what you're calling ye- the yellow the yellow brown, which is what you're calling the eastern. Uh, yeah, Asian. it's not yellow brown. It's yellow. Okay, well, you're basically you're basing it on color. You're saying if you're white, yellow, yeah. brown, or black, that's racist. I'm saying that's not how it works for me. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that there's actually a difference between uh, Caucasian, as in white, as in white people, mm-hmm. and then you've got the what I'm calling the spicy, <laughs> the olive toned, the brown toned. They're different to me, anyway. Yeah, yeah. But I found it very interesting that in the comments of that particular post, people were arguing as as to why Kim Kardashian would be mixed race. And I was like, of course she's mixed race. She's half white, half Armenian. That's mixed. Yeah, and to me, that just sounds like one white and a different white mixed together. And the fact that the study, the people that, that carried the study themselves consider her to be mixed, just because you don't think that Armenians or white people are separate in races doesn't mean that they're not it was a scientific study yeah based so on it's quite every, interesting every science is based on its own you've ideology. defined it one way mm. you've defined what that what the races are they are i do think that kim kardashian is mixed race she is mixed race because she is half white half armenian her mum is a white american woman and her dad was armenian with dark features and olive skin not white skin she's mixed race Zayn Malik, I think, is white and Asian. That's what makes him mixed. Okay. It's just that because he looks more Asian, people are like... I just thought he was Asian, yeah. Yeah. But, and I just thought Kim was uh, Armenian as well. 
Yeah, but she's not. Her mum's not Armenian. Her mum's white. So that's what I'm saying. So it was quite interesting in the comments. People were like, what? They're, right? they're, they're mixed. They're mixed. And then I had to be like, listen, guys, mix is not just um, white and black or white and Asian. Whichever Asian you, you choose, brown or, or yellow. Mm-hmm. It's... There's more to it than that. But it'll be interesting. I want to hear what everyone else thinks because I feel like sometimes black people, we really think about things in this very No, I think it's just more... Way. It's just... We're very... It needs to be a bit more um, clear what the what those races are, I guess. And that these people would have defined yeah. it in order to have a scientific study. You'd have to define it first. Yeah, it would have been nice. Yeah, but they obviously they've defined it. That's why they've but categorized then even Kim down to their, and... to their study... It still begs the question. So, what is is the um, what are they actually showing? If they're saying, "Oh, mixed people are more attractive than people who are not mixed," but they're just looking mm. at every possible mix, then realistically, there's probably going to be more mixes than there are. So, just what they did was races. that's not how they did the study. So, that's not how they did the study. So, what they did was they went and got um, apparently they went and got white and Asian people mm-hmm. to vote who they. Um, what race they thought was more attractive. Mm -hmm. And it just so happens that they picked more mixed race as what they deemed as attractive. Mm -hmm. And this brings me to my next point about that, what I observed off the back of that study, is it's interesting that white people and Asian people think that mixed people, more so white people, think that mixed people are more attractive. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's almost like a fetish for them to mix everything with them. It's not fetish. It's survival. You think so? 100%, yeah. The, like, the, human, mm. the human condition is, is one thing, and that's what happens in the brain consciously, but unconsciously. Yeah. Everyone needs to get melanated very quick because the world is getting hotter. And if you don't have this melanin in your skin, you're going to die. (laughs) Like, it's as simple as that. The human species survives. We've done it for millions of years and we'll keep doing it so long as it's possible for us to live on this planet. And regardless what you think and what your condition and what you're socialized to believe, your body is going to survive. That's that's why when people are starving, Mm. they start eating other humans. You wouldn't do that normally. But if you need to survive, Mm. you'll do it. And right now, you need to be black, <laughs> otherwise you're not going to make it to the future. It's just the facts. So, Yeah, but the 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 most common mix is not even white and black. It's no, no, white and Asian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That part's neither here nor there, but there's that study, I don't actually know what it's going after. Because if you're saying mixed race, then I don't know if it classed um, people from South Asia and people from... East Asia as being the same or different. I'm assuming it would be different because they are. But if you did the, if you just did a cross section and did any line between what could be mixed race, there's going to be way more mixed race people to pick from than there would be any one race. So it's always going to say that mixed race people are more attractive because there's more to pick from. So even if you just picked, even if everyone picked different, it would always come out that mixed race is more attractive than the pure races because there's less of them which is why i'm like i don't know what that's what that is trying to say if you said for example black and white that's one mixed race uh white and chinese that's another chinese and black indian and white you keep going there's so many that you'll end up with arab and black arab and asian you just end up with an Mm. infinite number so what's most popular of course the selection but the truth is, everyone needs to get that. I think in. that, yeah, I, I don't know if it's that per se. I think it's more um, to, I think, conspiracy hat on, it's more world domination. And also because they recognise that, oh, this is very controversial, but I don't give a heck. They recognise that other races have uh, features that they would want to have. So, for example, with Asian people, it's mm-hmm. the hair. They have like their hair is amazing. It's you talking long, about brown thick. Asian. Both, they have really nice hair. That's why that's why weaves are made out of any <laughs> Asian. They're, well, they're made Moroccan, out of South Asian because Korean East Asian is quite straight. They girls use Korean hair to do weaves, 
So it's all Asian, not just the uh you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So um there's that. Um and then like with black people, it's things like lips, because they pump themselves with the lips and they want some of them want the curly hair, um, and that kind of thing, or like the bodily features and stuff, which is why you get you've got that demographic of white girls that are so obsessed with having mixed babies with black men because they want to have access to some of our features whatever those features might be so I think it's I think it's that I don't think it's necessarily um I don't think that it it might be subconscious um survival but I don't see how mixing your race secures your survival it secures um, the survival of your of your bloodline because it's not pure it's not pure you're not it's not it sounds bad but i don't I, I don't really care no no, no i get if, what you mean like, if I, I, I you know what i mean but let's be let's call a spade a spade it's not pure because you've mixed it now um but i think it's more to have access to our things so now if you're a mother or and you've got a child that's mixed with something else you now have access to that culture and that race because of by proxy of the child that you have Right. So I think it's that. I think it's more proximity and having access rather than I'm trying to secure my race by mixing it. No, I think um, I think that's... and and because and, and and I think the main reason why I kind of don't think it's that is because like old school Africans were definitely very down the line of only date your own because we're mm-hmm. trying to preserve us. Do you get it? Like mm-hmm. and and old school. British people felt the same way. Old school white people felt the same way. Like we want to preserve our race, mm-hmm. which is actual survival. Preserving, preservation is survival. We want it to survive. That's why we want to preserve it. Um, so we want it to be pure blood. That, that, and that's why in the royal family, they try and do the whole pure blood business. Like they have to be a royal. That's why they were dating cousins or mm-hmm. third cousin, mm-hmm. fourth cousin to maintain that pure blood, that royal pure, pure blood. So... If it's about survival, I'd actually think that the idea would be to um not mix, especially because with science, you can you can look after your skin. Like they've got all the SPF, this that, this that that they that they've got. And science is advanced enough now to provide them with stuff whereby they don't need to physically mix with menelated people mm. for them to they don't have to. They actually don't have to. Mm. They won't be, they won't, like, we produce stuff naturally, but even black people need um, sunscreen. Let me tell you, sunscreen right? ain't let me enough tell you, for Let no me one. finish what I was saying. Thank mm-hmm. you very much. Sun, we still have, no we, 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 we do produce melanin. Mm-hmm. We have some level of perfect protection, but a lot of that is a myth. Like, you, we still have to wear sunscreen. Mm-hmm. Like, we still have to protect our skin. Mm-hmm. I mean, because of the natural melanin we have, it takes us a bit longer for our skin to mash up, mash up. But they use us as like, they've, they've, Science is advanced enough, basically, is what I'm saying, for them to not need to mix. I don't actually think, you don't have to agree, but I don't actually think it's preservation. I don't think it's survival because of the climate. I think that's just too whatever. I actually think it's access and proximity, personally, yeah. to so, us. With regards to this study, one, you know, there's there's not there's no real incentive for that many people to want to have access to these cultures if you look at middle even middle england for example middle That's england they don't fish. they don't they don't care about about black people like that like there's there's so many parts of england or scotland or ireland or eastern europe that have mm. no regard for black people whatsoever not positive not negative they live in their life mm-hmm. and they're just surrounded by people that look like them yeah but they don't mix with people so why do the ones that but this mix want to mix so when that's these what people that's what we're asking ourselves yeah but that's what i'm saying You're, the the, story, the study yeah. came back that the majority of people found mixed people more attractive so what i'm saying is the people that they asked yeah yeah so you have to assume or you have to know where these people are because if these people that they asked are not already in cosmopolitan multicultural areas and mm-hmm. these are just a if cross you are, section of people from across the country which yeah. would be a more scientific way to approach that kind of question on on balance of on balance of probability if you have never seen a mixed person before in your life mm-hmm. One of two things can happen. You see them and you're like, wow. And you're like, I've never seen that before. And you're drawn to them because you've never seen it before. Right. Or you can be like, actually, I've got no interest in that because it's not the norm. It looks weird to me. And 
if you're going to say that I think it's more on balance of probability, it's more likely than not that the people they asked are people that, that see mixed people and see other races and have an inclination to like them. That's why they find them attractive. So for, so for example, as a black woman, I've got no qualms of any race. Yeah. No qualms at all of any race because growing up, I lived in a multicultural society. So seeing people from other races didn't look alien to me, didn't look Mm -hmm. weird, didn't look strange. So I'm able to actually identify different features and be able to say that white guy looks different to that one. That's why that one's paying and that one isn't. Yeah, they don't all look the same. Mm -hmm. But if I hadn't had that privilege, they would all look the same. And therefore it's more likely than not that I won't like them or think that they're attractive because they all look the same. Can't see no differences. They look weird. They look alien. I'm not about it. But again, also because of my actual ability to see others, I now know what I like, which is black men. I don't want to hear it, Davisters. I like black men. And because I like black men, I could never find a white person attractive enough for me to be like, I want to be with them. And I know that for myself. And when I speak to black men that are into um, black women, black women, they say the same thing about white women or any other race. They are like, and as far as I'm concerned, I've seen enough of them to know that I don't like them. I, I'm not attracted to them is the right way for me to put it. No, I don't like them. I'm not attracted to them. So on balance of probabilities, I think that it's more likely than not that the people that they asked for their preference. So the people that answered the question, Mm -hmm what race do you think is most attractive? And they turn around and said, mixed race. They've seen enough of them to know that that's what they find attractive. Hence why they said mixed race, as opposed to saying Asian, white. Do you know what I mean? They said mixed race. That's how they answered the question. So it's because they've seen them enough. I don't think they went and picked a white person from the most obscure place in the UK who's probably not seen a mixed person before ever or other races before other than potentially on TV and gone, what is your, what do you think, what race do you think is most attractive? Because remember, the question isn't what, the question is not even what type of mixed race person, it's just what race, and mixed race is a race of its own. So, and they answered mixed race. (laughs) So I don't think it, just going back to your point about we need to know where they got these people from, it's very unlikely that they picked the type of people that you've, Stereotypes, which is the people that come from the most obscure place. And I'm they, just saying, a cross section like. of people would would. I don't think they did that. I think they purposely went for white people and Asian people because studies have shown and stats have shown that white men particularly like to go for Asian women. Asian women particularly like to go for white men. As in, like the the races that mix the most, mm-hmm. that 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 they out of their race is white man to to Asian woman. They tend to go for each other. Then after that, black men go for everything. That's the stats. That's the whatever. So I think they purposely went for white and Asian because they do it the most, if that makes sense. And so they wanted to know what they think is the most attractive race. And they've just happened to go for mixed race. And I think it's because of the a fetish, which is the core reason why they want the proximity because they've got the fetish in the first place. That's my rationale. But then shouldn't they have chose each sense. other? If that was the case, shouldn't white men have chose Asian women or whichever way Well, when you speak around? to a lot of when you speak when you when you speak to a lot of people that do that are in interracial relationships, particularly a certain stereotype, which I'm not going to say, but we can probably all think of when I say this. When you ask them why they prefer interracial relationships, when they start talking about their kids, they start to fetishize how the kids going to look with the mixed features. That's that's something that they tend to talk about. When you talk when you talk to black men about dating black women or settling down with a black woman, they start telling you, oh, I wonder what the kid's going to look like. The kid's going to be light-skinned. The kid's going to have this hair, that hair. Blah, blah, blah. It's the features that they're chasing. That's why I said it's the proximity to what they can get from those races, which is the features. Mm. They, can, they, they don't have to want the culture, but they might want the features. They might want... A white woman might want a child with brown skin who doesn't have to fake tan to look like she's mixed race and also has curly hair that sometimes she can wear curly and sometimes she can straighten and she she can be racially ambiguous, but she's still kind of black. I can never be black because I've been born as a white person, but if I date a black man, I'll have proximity to their features because I fetishize. I, I can't pronounce that word. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. They have a fetish for it. So that's what I think it is. And I think another reason why I think that is because I was, I can't, ugh, I was listening to a, another podcast that I like and they were talking about, there was a dilemma and this girl was talking about how she is, I think she's 38 and so is her partner. Her partner has a low sperm count. She's cool with her eggs. Like she's mm-hmm. she's done mm-hmm. the checks. And she was saying that they had, they they got two embryos to try and, use his sperm to impregnate her because no, when they do it naturally, it doesn't work because his sperm count is so low. Um, they're two embryos. They've only got two embryos left. And um, she's saying if those don't take, because they have three and that didn't take. So if those two don't take, she's thinking to get a sperm donor. So off the back of that conversation, there was, um, I found uh, the girls that were talking about it was like, one of them was like, fun fact, do you know how expensive it is to get a sperm donor? But do you know how more expensive it is to get a black sperm donor? For two reasons. The first reason is not a lot of black men offer their sperm anyway. And secondly, when they do, it gets taken up real quick by, guess the race? Yeah, of course. White women, because they want mixed kids. They fetishize mixed kids to the point where when they choose to have babies, they select sperm from black men and pay good top dollar for it Mm -hmm. to have the proximity to those features which is why i think it's more that yeah like i hear you say the the proximity to the features but i honestly i don't think it's that i I know the stereotype that you're referring to and i I definitely have Mm -hmm. seen that person but again i go back to it i think i've seen that person more than it's genetic survival i've seen i've seen that more than oh you know because uh, the ozone layer is uh, disappearing yeah, and therefore I want to preserve my race. It's not, it's not a conscious decision. But I already said that. I yeah, already said that. It's probably, it might be at the back of their mind, yeah. but I think what's forefront on their mind is the proximity and two things can be true at once. Thanks, Venom. Yeah, but it's definitely um, a genetic survival. Two things can be true at once. I think a lot of them, they they especially when it comes to offspring and producing those mixed race kids, a lot of it obviously comes from love. Let's not remove the love out of it. You fall in love with someone that's outside of your race. You want to produce and start a family with them. More time. That's the reason. But there's a lot of people that fetishize it. Like growing up, I knew bear girls that were like, I want to date a black guy because I want mixed kids. It's just that it's just... why girl? Because mixed kids look like they look the best. They look really nice. They've got both features. It's not, I don't think they I don't think the forefront is and white supremacy is to be sup- to be supreme, not to mix. Yeah, but by default, so all when they are mixing, are not, um, why is that supremacists? No, they're not. But what I'm saying is, if you're gonna think about, I th- um, what I'm saying is, I think I don't even want to label the word. I think I've explained it so many different ways. Fundamentally, I think. They like mixed because it's been it's been a fetish for a very very long time, and subconsciously that's the reason. Sometimes, and if you're gonna say it's for survival, that's not forefront in their mind. It's, it may be in the back, but I can tell you this for free: I'm not thinking survival if I have a baby with a white man. I'm not thinking survival, and I don't think he is either. I don't think he thinks he needs me for survival. Yeah, it's and there's not, loads it's of not mixed race. Be there's in loads of mind. and there's loads of mixed race kids that come from a white dad, and the mum is the other culture or the other race, and I, and given the fact that I know that white men literally are the most powerful in Western societies where this mix is happening more time, they're not thinking. Let me go and impregnate a black girl because in the years to come. <laughs> My ch- my offspring will have melanin. Yeah, I don't. I think, don't think that's I don't the case. Think anybody is consciously thinking that, which is what I led with. Which is what I said anyway. It's it's a genetic yeah. predisposition to survive. I think that I think genetic pre yeah that's true, but I also think it's to preserve for men anyway. Maybe for women, for women it's to survive. For men, it's to have legacy and to preserve. So I just don't agree with you on that one. Sorry. And if I'm going to agree a little bit, it'll be two things can be true at once. Cause I definitely think that fish thing and the whole proximity thing is a thing. It's a thing that we already know about. So yeah, we can't even but deny it's not, it's not, we know a, it's it's not a, a majority thing is, is what in your um, opinion. 
in your opinion. I, mean. I don't think I don't think survival is a majority thing either. So I guess we can both yeah, be right. Like I said, two every, things yeah, can be true at once, right? See, I'm willing to compromise. You're the one that's trying to be hard and fast. No, I mean, it's not a fetish. That, fe- people have fetishes over no, the No, I'm not saying people don't have fetishes. Study pre- I'm study just saying with regards so to the numbers that will come once. through on the study, I'm Boy. definitely not going to believe that a majority of the people who conducted or who responded to this study have They like mixed features because mixed I think it's a children. fetish. Yeah, I think it's a pro- I think I think it's proximity to those races fundamentally. That's because, what it is. But the reason why I'm saying that is because they asked what white men and which is access. Asian Asian women. Mm-hmm. Was and, it Asian women or Asians? Full stop. Oh, sorry. So sorry. They asked white people white people and, and Asian people, and Asian sorry. people. And um, because they didn't even specify what type of mix that they were talking about is again why I'm like so then. They're not what they're answering isn't even cooperating so with then what it's you're not, saying. So it's not it's not mel- it's not melanin then. It's not because they want melanin. No, I said I said what I believe about why Kim, Kardash- and Kim Kardashian and Zayn Malik wouldn't even be there because it would have been literally um the mixed race archetype that all black people think of, which is black and white mixed. Mm. But that's not the case. The examples they pulled was Kim Kardashian and Zayn Malik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no melanin in there. Mm-hmm. So it can't be well, because the Zane. world is dying and they need to be close to blackness because they need blackness to survive. That's not the there's reason. There's melanin is it? in Zane. Based on that. But my point but was there isn't in my Kim Kardashian point was about black people. It was. About... I'm just picking what you said. No, 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 no. Yeah. and I'm explaining because you, you're the one that said melanin. You yeah, I said melanin. melanin from the beginning. Yeah, but not all mixed people have melanin in them. Yeah, because but... Kim Kardashian is mixed race, yeah. and there's the melanin is not the same. So it can't be survival f- to be to have melanin. It can't be that, which is what I'm disputing in the first place. No, it can. I'm saying I'm that saying, the results from the test I'm, don't cooperate mm-hmm. the idea that is proximity mm-hmm. because they are just talking about nor mixed they, race nor, people. I didn't say the results it, from nor, the test nor does it, are saying that people need melanin. I'm saying that people need melanin. That's just me saying. But I never that. said that the results. Tro- I'm not saying that the results from the test mean that they're fetishized. I'm saying that the reason why certain races prefer mixed is so that they can have access to certain features. That's what I'm saying. And the root cause of that is when you really go to the foundation is they have a fetish for those features. That's why they pick certain dating options so that they can produce those features, knowing that on their own, within their own race, they can't do that. Mm -hmm. And we know that to be true because we we know that to be true. The, outside of the test, mm-hmm. we know that to be true for quite a few of, especially a certain demographic, that's what it is. If we're going to talk about survival, again, the test results, it doesn't, the test results and ha- even how they published it and the examples they pulled from, it can't be because they want to be close to blackness so much that they want our melanin. That that's why they they they, they choose. It, it doesn't make sense. So, if you're gonna say my point, the test doesn't prove my point. The test doesn't prove your point either. And but I'm I not never, saying that. I never let you on said the test. that, yeah. and I never said that either. I never said that either. The question was, I wonder why they think that mixed race is the most attractive. And I'm saying that I reckon it's due to proximity to certain features. That's why they go for that. No, let me not take love out of it because most people recreate, pro- uh, procreate with people in the traditional sense because they like the person, fall in love with the person, or have an attraction with the person, and they, you know, they bring a baby into the world. Let's say it was mar- done in, through marriage or cohabiting, re- a steady relationship. You choose to have a baby with someone because you love them and you want to start a family with them. Mm-hmm. So you have a baby with them. Obviously, there's more situations now, more than ever, where people are having babies out of, by mistake. Because they didn't have the family planning, they're having sex up and down, or maybe sex with one person, and they procreate. That also happens. But I guess I don't like to use the word normal, but no- normally people have a baby with someone because they're in a relationship and they want to start a family. That's the norm, I guess, um, or what used to be the norm. So people are choosing to have pe- babies with other people, normally out of a loving relationship or of some sort. That's not always the case. Fine. But Using that, why are you, um, let's take the love out. If we're going to go for 
the love is the obvious one as to why people are having babies and it may or may not be mixed race. Let's take the love out. If we're just going to talk about conspiracy theory, which is what we're both doing here, I'm arguing that the ones that procreate and have mixed race babies outside of love, <laughs> I think it's proximity to certain features. You're choosing certain people features to procreate with because you want access to the features that they're going to give your baby. And it's because you have a fetish for those features. And I, it's not always sub, it's not always consciously as well. Because certain races have been conditioned to prefer certain features as well. So there's that as well. It's not as black as white. It's not as black as, and white as, as we're trying to argue. Mm. But I do think that outside of procreating for love, other reasons as to why mixed might be preferred by certain demographics could be fetish and um, proximity to the features that those who whatever mix that they like can get because you can't get it on your own. You've got to mix with someone to get it for your own offspring. I don't think it's survival in terms of what you originally said mm-hmm. about the melanin. I don't think it's that because Kim Kardashian, who a lot of people don't even think is mixed race, but she actually is mixed race. Mm. It can't, it can't, it doesn't make sense. Because it's not only melanin people that mix with everyone else. No, I'm aware. If that makes sense. Yeah. So if you get if you get a yellow person and a white person, by your definition of what different races are, a yellow person does haven't hasn't got nearly enough of the melanin for the survival that you're talking about. If in terms of like the melanin thing that mm-hmm, you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, that's why I, that's fundamentally one of the reasons why I'm like actually I don't think it's that in the grand scheme of things Mm. personally but you make a good point that's why I said maybe at the back of their mind kind of like how girls say they like tall guys and they can't explain why but the reason is because protection (laughs) you know Mm -hmm. um it could be so you could be right we could both be right I just know that a lot of them it's, it's a fish that's already been proven before it's a known fact (laughs) that one I just can't quantify it. Yeah, I yeah, I couldn't. Can't quantify that one, but we know it's a thing. I definitely know Everyone. it's a thing socially. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we can't. But yeah, so we the, can't quantify degree, it. So not to the degree where I would say it's the majority reason why outside of love. If but I never said it was the majority. I just said what a reason for me, and I literally called it a conspiracy theory. Mm. And I never said it was conscious either. Yeah, yeah, I didn't say you said it was conscious. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, two things can be true at once. But I thought that that study was interesting. The most poignant point I took from that was people, how people view race and what people, how people differentiate between races. Because even between you and I, mm-hmm. we don't even agree on what the races are mm-hmm. other than the obvious white, black, brown. I think that's that's, that's, that's probably... where we agreed. <laughs> that's That was all that we got to. Everything else, we were like... Mm. We know, in fact, like, in fact listen, we were white, white and black. White. white and black was... We only agreed on black, really. Yeah, because I was like, white, I can split that into two different races. How are you going to be to split an Asian? How am I going to split an Asian? Hold on. You know when they ask you, no, they ask they ask you ethnicity and they ask, they ask ethnicity and they ask um, nationality on forms officially, don't they? They were like, what nationality are you? Yeah, something like that. And then they'll ask you, what ethnicity are you? And that's when you, that's when you get... Black African, Black Caribbean, Black mixed. Yeah, Black British. That's when you start get. Yeah. That's when you start getting that. That it's never like, what race are you? I really want to. Oh, my tablet's not close to me. I wonder. I wonder if we can find a list somewhere from a reputable races. source that says the breakdown of races, because I think that would really help. What are the, what are the race categories? So this isn't given the category, this is just an opening line that just busts me up. Experts have suggested okay. a range of different races varying from three to more than 60. I said, hmm? Right, so let's go to the seven. You got, what are the five original races? Because even in the Bible, it described the, the races. and it's, Yes, let's go. Yeah, let's go there. I, I let's haven't go got for the original. One, right? But it says the five original uh, races. Okay. This is what's on Wikipedia mm-hmm. based in human races. Okay, so. uh, no, because, but anyone could have written that. That's not reputable. It's going to be based on a piece, though, if you know what I mean. So this is um, cool. so okay. the natural variety, because I've heard this before. The natural, huh, 
The Natural Varieties of Mankind by John okay. Johann Friedrich Blumenbach. Wow. Okay. Proposed five major divisions. The Caucasoid okay. race, which is white people, or the mm-hmm. type of white people from England. Then the Mongoloid race. The Mongoloid race, I'm believing to be East Asian, as in the yellow mm-hmm. one. Sounds right, people, because Mongo- right? Mon- yeah. Yeah. Cool. Ethiopian race, later named the Negroid, which is black people. Black people. Then you've got the American Indian race, which I believe is yeah. what you know, the South um, Asian. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and then the Malayan race. But I don't know which the Malayan race would be because the Malayan race Google it. and the uh, Mongoli- Mongolioid race is going to have an overlap for me. This says this. Do, 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 do. I think ethnic group Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, the Malays. You know, you said American, American, Indian. did you say American native? American, American Indian is not going to be South Asia. No, it is. American Indian is is in terms of the features is gonna be oh no 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 it won't be you're right that would be the the Mayan type does it not define it for you because I really want I want an actual American definition Indian. from the person that wrote it the, for all of them not what you no offense I just want no, them I'm just to tell me the, 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 uh, yeah so we've got the names of them but what did what did what did they define them as and what did they so the American Indian is the indigenous peoples of the Americas yeah da, 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 da. yeah 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 that makes sense because uh, but I get what you mean they've got brown features that's that what you're trying to say who you when you said that they're like South Asian were you more talking about their features oh being no brown? yeah 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 but then I was thinking is that what you were saying it's, because, oh, okay. it's, because they're called Indian I was like no yeah but it's it's not they're they're more like Mayan okay. Mexican that kind of yeah 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 so then what is the Mongoloid race oh Asiatic yeah okay so that's the so the Mongoloid is the yellow people okay so this has Thank that you. there's yeah. two different types of yellow Asian it doesn't yeah. actually have a one that I would call the South Asian, because Singapore's people are sort of nothing like South Asians, and also the Mongoloid yeah, yeah, are also yeah, nothing yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. South Asian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is how it's broken down as five, and yeah. then another one broke it down as seven. But what, what's the seven? Because the thing, is, well, well, with these ones, it'll be difficult because what people look like back then is not what people look like now, typically. Because mixed race is a is a race that <laughs> I mean it's not, the, it's not the even seven, the seven looks like what I would say kind of because <laughs> no but because I know what what I'm trying to say to you is the five and the seven probably don't include mixed race but mixed race no, is a don't. race of its own yeah but that's yeah. The, that's the thing mixed so race we can isn't, we can take it we can take it we can take it to a we can take it with a pinch no mixed race is a race of its own it's a race of its own it's not it's because they're mixed. Yeah, but they yeah, but anyone could they be don't mixed call with they don't call m- most mixed race people don't call themselves black, white, or whatever. They say that I'm a mi- I'm mixed race. That's my race. I'm mixed race. Yeah, they're, they're describing yeah, that so they're it's a race of its own. Two races, so, not that they are a one thing that is mixed race. So they actually are saying, "Oh, I am Asian and I'm also black. Those are my mixes. yeah." Which means but being they, mixed they race they identify race. as mixed race, just like I yeah, identify, they identify as black. Therefore, it is its own category of race. In it's, my it's opinion, it's not a race. Okay, in your opinion, but it's not a race. Yeah, yeah, that's why I said in my opinion. Yeah, okay. But what's the seven? What's uh, the seven? So the seven says uh, American Indian or Alaskan Native, yeah. Asian as oh, one yeah. whole thing, Black or African American, mm-hmm. Hispanic. And Latino, native Hawaiian, or other sp- Pacific islands. That is in white. line with what I was saying. Yeah, that's in line with what I'm saying. No, because it's Hispanics, just has white. Latino. Yeah, whites are not part. Remember, I said mm-hmm. Hispanic. Yeah. I said Hispanic and I said Italians and that. Them lot are not the same as white people. And that just said what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But I think, I think the, the topic of race is subjective. It is, it is. And that's what the study, yeah, that's what that, and that's the point I'm making about the study. The study showed me that people have different ideologies of what race is, other than the bait ones, which is white, well, even white, we can't agree, black. <laughs> it's just and the, black. The split, and the split of the Asian. Because I agree with you, okay, I, I agree with you in terms of the split of the Asians, mm-hmm. yeah? But I'm saying if you're going to apply that logic for the Asians, you kind of have to apply it for the, for mm-hmm. what you deem as Caucasian, mm. because, there's not 
they're not the same type of Caucasian. A, a, a Spanish person with the more brown undertone and even an Italian with like the olive undertone is not the, they're not the same as like a white person where it's literally white as snow. And even when they tan, they ta- they don't tan, they burn. It's different. Mm. So I wouldn't class them as Caucasian together. And that's the point I was making. Mm-hmm. So um, I probably would agree with the seven and I would add on an eighth one, which is people that don't fit into any of them because they're a mix. That's what I would do personally. But it's interesting that it's so subjective. It depends on how mm. people view pe- others, I think, personally, mm. in my opinion. I'm not saying it as fact. I'm just make it expressly clear that it's my opinion, guys, because, you know. Hey. It's interesting that that seven that they actually they even split out just Hispanic Latino and then what was the other one? They had three different what what you would class as Caucasian. They split into three. They even split into two. Like they me. said, Hispanic and Latino. Yeah, one white was another one, and yeah. then Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islanders was the other one. Okay, yeah, yeah, because even I would have put like Native Hawaiian and stuff because of their skin tone in the same space as Hispanic and Latino, which is why I would have said two. It's interesting, they split into three. Do you get what yeah, I'm saying? In the list, there's 10, three, five, six, seven. People coming with I mean, with someone, different... said, someone said 60, and I think that's excessive personally. <laughs> 60 I mean, races. That's a lot. <laughs> there's... Sorry. They got they they got their that's breakdowns. They got their breakdowns. That's too much. That's too, that one was a job's worth. What do you mean they're sixty? <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I think that's interesting. I think everything we spoke about is very different and interesting to, compared to what we normally talk about. Thank God it's not relationship talk per se. Per se. Per se. Yeah. yeah. Guys, we're gonna close it off there because my mouth's getting dry and my drink is finishing. I think it's finished. Still got a little. Um, yeah. It's been an interesting conversation. I think um, it would be good. I've said it a few times now, but it would be really good to hear what you guys think about what the cat- what the race categories are. That's what I'm going to term it as the what the race categories are. I'll be interested to know what you think they are. How you, would you split it? How would you categorise the races? One. And two, if you have an opinion on why the two demographics that they asked, which was white and Asian, why would they potentially think that mixed race people are more attractive or the most attractive? Why might that be? I'm not really asking why they mix. I'm more asking why they think they're more attractive. Um, That would be a very interesting, be interesting to hear what you lot think about that. Where you can find us. So if, Obviously, where you're listening or watching is the main place, but also, just so you know, our podcast is on Spotify, Apple Music, and I think it's on all the other listening and audio platforms. We have a profile on TikTok. We have a profile on Instagram. All of the links to that is in the description, as as well as myself and Venom's um, socials, if you want to follow us individually. Uh-huh. Who knows? You might prefer Venom to me. You might prefer me to Venom. It's up to you. Don't really care. Um, <laughs> whatever you're into, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're answering the questions about today, naturally you're going to be commenting on the audio platforms. Please give us a rating. We are not accepting anything below four, and even that is a stretch. But I prefer five. We'll really appreciate that. You can leave comments on Apple um, Podcasts. Um, platform you can also leave comments on spotify so please do that interact with us we really appreciate it oh that's all the admin out it has been your home slice i haven't said that in a while it has been your home slice dami zayn alongside my co-host venom music by the way he's a dj just saying he's got his ting check it out on his socials we'll talk about that more next time i'm going to put him in a hot seat this is the unpicked podcast oh my days i forgot i need to shout out a business venture um i will leave if anyone is looking for a for like marketing strategy or like um 
like social, like you're, you're trying to build a business and you're trying to get someone to give you some advice on like how to market your company on social media and etc. Then I have a, a, a company that I would like to shout out. I'll leave them in the description. If you're interested, click the link. If that's what you're looking for and see if they might have a service that could work for you. That was my quick shout out. Yep. It is the Unpicked podcast thank you for listening and we will see you next week guys i would put a peace sign up but it's got the reactions you'll see some you start seeing funny stuff so i'm gonna <laughs> do it upside down in it until next week peace, peace. <laughs>